Happy Vlogmas Day 23! It's almost Christmas Day. I hope you're almost done with your Christmas shopping list and that you did not forget about yourself. Raise your hand if you buy yourself a Christmas gift. And then pat yourselves in the back because girl, boy, whatever, you deserve it. Love thyself. And there are five languages of love and one of them is gift giving. So make sure that you get up after you watch this video and get yourself something for Christmas. And I do apologize for the reflection in my glasses that is coming from all my screens and everything right in front of me, but I do only have two contact lenses left and I do want to save them for a rainy day. All right, let's get started. I will show you guys the gifts that I got myself for Christmas last year. I haven't bought myself one for this year yet, but I do have a few things in mind and my husband's just looking at me right now. Things, plural. I'm only going to buy one thing, but I will probably wait till after Christmas before I get that. So for now, I'm going to show you what I got last Christmas, which is then excellent because I can review it a year later on. So in case you guys have your eyes set on it, you'll know how good or bad it is. All right. So first thing, I got myself a... Gucci Marmont in white. Let me get that. I should have probably got them out. Hey, just maybe before I started filming. So I got myself a Gucci Marmont in white as my first gift. And then also the Celine Nano luggage. Oh, this is the cutest thing. So this is the Celine Nano luggage. And I got myself the Hermes cadenas bracelet as well so they're known for their animal bracelet right i got this one right here and also might as well show you the one that wade got me for christmas last year is this h bracelet the click h bracelet amongst other he got me some really cute puzzles as well but this is one that falls into this luxury review all right so i like a good story and Basically, I couldn't decide if what color and what design I wanted. And so what I did was I bought the cadenas in white or in Hermes colors blank as a gift for myself. And then Wade got me the H bracelet instead. This is the PM size. So it is the thinner version, which is for me, my preference. And it also comes in a box in this dust bag right here that has it's kind of velvety feel and it's got the Hermes branding stamp right there and it sort of goes over a little bit in the back as well and that's where you store that and their popular orange box the website says it sells for 895 Australian dollars if I am not mistaken that's also the same price that I paid for it last year and what do I like about it? I like that this cadenas design is definitely more on the discreet side. I really like that. In fact, even the H, if you don't know the H logo, the Hermes logo, you wouldn't know that it's Hermes. But this is definitely more on the popular side. And that is why I like this one better. This color goes with pretty much everything. Both of them are quite neutral, but obviously the white goes with everything. It's so easy to put on, so you just push it a little bit so you push it right there and then you move either the lock or the H downwards or upwards whatever and then that opens it up put it on boom okay <laughs> boom and then you close it yeah so it's just like that it's amazing very easy to use I might as well keep it on so as you can see it's definitely good for stacking as well let's see if I can stack them together Although probably stacking them might scratch them a little bit, but I haven't worn them together, but it could definitely work out as you can see in there. Yeah. So what's the wear and tear like? So I've had it for almost, well, for over a year now. There's no scratch. Let me double check that. There are fingerprints. It's obviously very easy to get fingerprints on them, but you can easily just wipe it off and get that gloss back again. But no, there are but minor scratches in there that is fairly normal but it still looks pretty solid brand new i quite i quite like that i don't store them in its box so but i do store them 
in this ba uh, in this bag and then this is stored in an acrylic jewelry box let's get to the celine nano luggage a bit of a story again i always like a good story i definitely wanted either the celine luggage bag or the belt bag and i chose the luggage because of the oh it's number one it's very cute but the surprisingly what fits into this nano size so the nano size is eight by eight by four inches and that is the smallest size it's made out of drummed calf skin so you'll see there you go right so you can see the little pebbles in it as well as but it's oh my god the it smells so good you guys so it's made out of that calf skin let me get those things out and inside is just there's no cloth whatsoever so it's just that calf skin lining as well but it's more on the softer side and this color is the coal color which is pretty much blue gray right so if you see if you look at that it's got the blue gray color i can't see the coal color in the au site anymore i can see it in the us site and some resellers which then sells around three thousand eight hundred australian dollars it comes in an antique gold hardware so it's got those it's not your glossy gold a bit more matte and it's got that antique vintage vibe it's one zip right there very easy zip open it up there's one pocket inside as well right there and that almost goes all the way down up about this point there is it's a um, tiny little handle you can put it in the crook of your <laughs> arm but depends how tiny that arm is ouch right ow oh i don't i don't do that i definitely <laughs> there's a little zip up the front so it's what they say some people get scraped out that it looks like a face those are the eyes that's the mouth but you can zip that up and Put a little something in there maybe safety pin i never use that but it's got the same lining as well as the inside you can then let me close that up again so it's one whole thing nothing full and it's got the wide open in there you got a sunny's holder down the back and obviously where you put the crossbody strap which i'm going to grab right now so that's the crossbody strap as well exact same color gold hardware as well which you can do the good thing about the gold hardware the vintage or the antique gold hardware is it pretty much doesn't scratch like the scratches are not visible at all compared to the uh the shiny the shiny ones and it's got that piping everywhere exact same color as the leather and the stitches as well are the exact same color it doesn't come with a box it just comes with the dust bag right here so it's their usual dust bag i believe and it's a celine paris it is my first and my only celine bag as well so i don't know if they don't have the box for everything or is it just this one i bought mine for it comes with well it's not really a it's just a care care instruction no one really reads that but i keep it and i bought it for i always keep the receipt one thing that you'll notice uh, you'll remember so i bought it for three thousand two hundred fifty australian dollars and you can see i have two receipts one for three thousand one hundred fifty and the other one for a hundred for the gift card that i used bought it for three thousand two hundred fifty dollars and in the au site you can't find a call color anymore the other colors are black brown sells for three thousand two hundred australian dollars so it's actually lower but then if you want the coal which is this color which i actually like this color and that's my rule when i buy my bags yeah i like i don't want to repeat colors if i already have this this color then i'm not going to buy the similar one the only thing where i repeat a color is if it's a different hardware so this in silver i probably would or a different size altogether so like a small medium large bag in different colors and maybe for a white like a not even for this but for a white like a different shade like an off-white to a proper white but yeah this is like this actually surprisingly goes with a fair bit of things so what do i like about this bag i like how structured it is which means it puts everything in place and it actually fits in a fair bit and I'll show you later on what fits into it. The Sunny's holder is pretty cute as well. I just quickly grabbed 
a some sun uh, sunglasses that I could put into it. Hey, Marielle, do you actually use that? Yes, I do. If the only thing that is obviously if I wear it crossbody, I have to have it facing the other way so the sunnies don't actually hit me. Yeah, so that's the only that's the only thing. But it's actually spacious enough that you can probably put this the sunnies case inside as well. And isn't it just the cutest size? Like, see, that's my arm right there. It doesn't even my arm's definitely longer than it, but it actually it packs a punch. It packs a punch. Let me prove that to you. Let's take the sunnies off. Let's put in stuff that I usually take with me. So I'm not going to bother with the cases so that you can actually really see what's inside. So I usually take a hand cream with me, pop that in there. If you have a, I'll show you two ways, like without the, the mini bags or with. And then I always take tissues with me. So let's put that in. Uh, sanitizer, always have a tiny version in there and a floss yeah so let's put that all in there i'd like to take my keys as well so those are my keys i would probably pop that in there and then my wallet so i got my wallet i take a card holder i have another wallet where you can put in a lot of uh it's like an actual proper wallet with a section for coins but usually I just take this with me. I never, I, I'd put the cash in the middle. If I travel in, as a, for example, in Southeast Asia where cash is still king and there are a lot of coins, then I take my coin purse with me. So I barely use the other one anymore. I might have to sell that actually or give it to someone else. I don't know. And then my phone I'm using <laughs> right now, but I've got Wade's work phone here, which is slightly bigger than my phone. I used the iPhone 11. So this is, I don't know, one of the newer ones. So I've got that in there. And then I don't usually carry lipstick, but when I, um, I thought I'd just pop it in there anyway so you guys can see it. I do, don't get me wrong, I put on a lipstick, but then I don't bother retouching for the rest of the day. And then this is my case for my camera, which I'm using right now. The DJI Pro Pocket 2, once you have the actual camera in it, probably goes in up to about this length. So I can easily just put that in there there's still a lot of room you guys yeah it's still a lot of room so let me pull that all out because how i would usually actually take my stuff with me is with my little purse so here's my sanitizer my wallet my gloss and my hand cream and that's where the lipstick would go in as well straight up in there and then this other one for my, well, I got my work badge in here, which normally I won't, well, I have used this for work once. And then I just have a laptop, separate laptop bag. So I got my wallet in there, my keys, boom, <laughs> close it, have that in there. And then I'll have the phone and then I'll have the camera case right there. So that definitely looks a bit more full. Yeah. But those per those tiny little purses are eating up a lot of eating up a lot of space. What I'd probably do is not bother with this one and just have the one because it'll just be the wallet, the keys are easy to easy to grab. And then I would typically then have my mask in this little pocket right here. So yeah, the thing that I don't like about it is that the strap is not adjustable. The good thing is when I put it on, I'm fairly short. Let me see if I can stand. It will not look awkward. Yeah, I'm gonna tippy toe. It does, it sits right there, my hip. So it's not an awkward size. I think they probably, <laughs> they built that the nano, they knew that the petite women or men would actually really go for it anyway. So that's, that's fine. It doesn't have those feet, but it has a bit of an elevated, the this little wavy design. Goes a little bit towards the end, which sort of dual purpose as fate as well. It still looks brand new. There's absolutely no scratch. It's in a very good nick. Actually, I do store it. I'll show you how I store it. So this came with it. I pretty much kept that. So I do store it in that way. And then I would put the, the receipts and the card inside. And then the strap I would take off, fold it like so. Put it on top. So I've got that on top there. Zip it up. Tuck, right, tuck that right here. There's a thing that goes in here. So I would just have that stored in there and then I'll find it somewhere. <laughs> it basically goes in between the straps, sorry, the handle, so it stays intact. Yeah, that, there we have it. All right, so now let's get into 
the Marmont. Ah! So this was actually it. Okay. Because <laughs> I thought this was the one that went to the Marmont. But no. So this one right here. Just gets stuck right there. In between. So it just stays, uh, stays put. Alright. So now back to the Gucci Marmont in white. I have had my eye set on the velvet purple version of this. But that is no longer available in store. And then I saw someone wearing the white one and I thought, hey, I don't have a white bag yet. And so here we are. So this is the mini size and it is, let me have a look, 22 by 13 by 6 centimeters. This is the second smallest size. And to be honest, there is a super mini, which is what, like <laughs> about a quarter of this size. And it, to be honest, I think it's a bit of a jerk. It is just way too small. There's nothing that would fit into it. This surprisingly fits a fair bit. So it's an off-white color. It's got, again, similar to the Nano. It has that antique gold hardware. And you can see, you can see like a little bit of black happening in there. It's got the crossbody. So you can use crossbody. So you move that up, similar to a little bit like your Chanel or over the shoulder if I do that. So the strap comes in the leather and the metal and it is very light like that chain is like it's really it's really light and then obviously with this makes it easier on the shoulder and makes it even lighter as well it does come in a box so it's the gucci green box and a dust bag as well so the dust bag right here is their typical dust bag so white with their branding stitch on it and I bought mine for 2450 Australian dollars last year and it now retails for 2900 and they now come in different designs there are, even the JG has that like little this comes in different variation they even have one with the Balenciaga on it now but I like them in classic colors they're obviously known for the stitching and that little heart piece that at the back which is really cute definitely one of the selling points unique to this GG Marmont it's a clasp so you you click down there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, boop. Then it opens up. I got the stuffing inside. And then inside it's just like a nude color. So it's not leather. And it's got the same material, Gucci, made in Italy branding in there. It's got this pocket right here. And what is this? It's just the, the serial, the serial number. Yeah, so you can see in there. So what do I like about it? It surprisingly fits a lot and i will show you guys later on what fits into it the other reviews that i saw also said that when you have nothing on it's hard to close but when do you have nothing on in it right honestly and that things do fall off in these gaps that hasn't happened to me to be fair to this little cute purse that hasn't happened to me wear and tear i i don't use it every day but it's definitely a bag that i use a fair bit it looks brand new smells amazing still there's probably a little bit of creasing in that corner hold on yeah you see so that little creasing right there but nothing no color transfer i'm just looking at it no color transfer but i am also mindful of not wearing it with dark colors and every time i tell my mom friends i have a white purse or every time they see it like oh my god that is such not a mom color or mom color purse but you can take care of a white bag just really be a bit more i don't know it's just like how you take care of any other bag i suppose the stitching as well is all in white just like the color of the purse. All right, let's go through what goes inside. And this one, as I said, packs a what packs a punch as well. So let's start with my sanitizer again. And it is structured too, a bit soft, but it fits in a fair bit, as I'm telling you. So that's my sanitizer. That's my hand cream, floss and tissue. Pop that in there. Keys and wallet. Those are the essentials. If you're traveling, that's when it gets a bit tricky because, oh, do you want to take your passport with you? Do you want to take all these other things? So that's when it gets a bit tricky. So I got my wallet in there, keys. And I do have, Wade is telling me that apparently if you have five or less things in your keyring, you're a simple person. I have five, but then the keyring itself apparently is counted. So I have six. But apparently some people have 10. That's insane. So you put that in there and then the phone. That's when it starts getting tricky when you start putting your phone in. But you'll be surprised. So that fits all in there. And I can still close it, no problem. In I don't tip when I wear this, I typically don't carry my hand cream and my floss. But in the case that I in the instance that you do want to fit more things in. So this, for example, 
I haven't put my lipstick on, uh, lipstick in there. It still fits. And then this camera case that I had, yeah. So that will be a bit longer. It still fits. I can still close that quite. But that's probably a bit too much for my liking, but it does fit. What I would then remove now here, it's a mat, it's a it's a uh, pick and choose. I take out my hand cream and the and the floss. Yeah, and that makes it very roomy again. Comfortable enough for me that yeah, that's good for me. Yeah, so I was literally using these the past couple of days without those two things. I don't carry a lippy as well, but this one has a lippy in there. Take that off and it's just even with the lipstick on, just the perfect purse well if you found that useful then you will like this video so make sure that you check it out and make sure that you tell your friends and share this to your friends so you can enjoy it together thank you so much for watching we'll see you again tomorrow and don't forget to get yourself a christmas gift merry christmas everyone bye